As you may have noticed, our budget's in trouble. But why? Now, at the surface, people talk about the budget's in trouble, we're spending too much money, we're not taking in enough money, and while all of these things are true, it's missing a greater and yet simpler truth. When you look at all of the things that we are spending for and buying and taking in and all of the economic details that come with our budget, you could start to see something. But I think too many people miss the trees for the forest and that they look at the budget as this total thing, this all-inclusive, all-encompassing entity. And what they're missing is the numerous little things that go in it, the numerous little purchases, the money that goes here and there in individual pieces. And that is important because when you look at these individual numbers, you start to see that our real problem is not a spending problem, not in the traditional sense. Our real problem, it's a problem of inefficiency is what it is. It's a problem where when a government like ours takes a contract, they usually end up paying far more for that business contract than another business entity would. When they buy from any number of corporations, it ends up where we pay so much more money, the government, that, well, there's no reason for it. That, like, there's no greater thing here I can come to to point at and say, well, this is happening because of X, Y, and Z. It's simply an issue of bloat and corruption. It's simply an issue where we're paying ten times the value for certain items because somebody's getting a kickback somewhere. And even if that's not the case, the government is incredibly inefficient at negotiating contracts on a competitive level. This is just a fact. We'll gobble up a contract based on whatever cost it really ends up being. Yeah, it's projected to cost it this much, but... We all really know that by the time it's done, it's either just going to be a bridge to nowhere where this money ends up going to a project that's canceled, or even worse, we end up spending three to five times the amount of projected money, never dropping the contract, never complaining, really, or never doing anything to protect our own asses as a government here. We end up paying all of this extra money for each little item where... Oh, we're paying for a survey to be done on a road, right? Well, that could cost literally half to a quarter as much as we're actually paying for it, easily. And when we have such an issue going on with our government where it's bleeding, it's hemorrhaging money out in these incremental payments, one little payment at a time that costs twice as much as it should, it quickly adds up to an amazingly bloated budget that we can't afford. It's not that you can point at one program or one group and say, well, there's the reason we're behind on our money. No, no, it's everything. It's all of it. And it's the money that each project, each program we have, each government entity just hemorrhages out, bleeding out this money from every little tiny paper cut of an overbloated expenditure. One at a time, each little expense that costs twice as much, three times as much, adds into the budget because they all do this. Military is infamous for this, but it, it's all throughout the government. If you want to check the numbers, they're on the internet for various expenditures, various groups in the government, where the money's going and stuff. It's not all clear or clean cut, but if you poke around, you can find it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. That we're paying so much extra money for services that shouldn't cost what they do. And I think that, in reality, we don't have a surplus budget problem or a deficit in a traditional sense. We have an overbloated, inefficient government economy where we're just losing money for no real reason. And what do we do about it? Well, that's a good question. I don't honestly know. It's part of the culture of corruption that goes on in our politics, where everybody's getting kickbacks from this, that, or the other to award contracts at no bids to certain people, and then people are going into governments, rewarding contracts to places they'll work for when they retire. It's, it's all a nest of corruption and inefficiency and simple, well, incompetency. And we're going to have to start voting differently. We're going to have to start changing our own attitudes here if we want to see that change. Because, well, the system doesn't want to change itself. People are getting paid for this crisis to exist. 
it creates news, it creates friction, it makes it sound like people are arguing in the congressional halls to get shit done, when in reality it's all a big dog and pony show. So, when you hear about all of this budget crisis and the sequestrations that are coming, don't sit there and point at one particular group or business expense that the government has and say, well, there's the cause. No, no, point at the whole thing and say, inefficiency, now there's the cause. Because that's the truth. If we could chop all of the unnecessary expenditures out of the budget, I think you'd find that we'd have a surplus, perhaps. Just something to think about.